out today with Sam, and uh, I'm your host, Sam. Today, we're gonna talk about dreams, so grab your cup of coffee and hang on. So recently at a uh, Team Devotions time, um, this idea was brought up about dreams and how we have to be willing to let go of our dreams or watch our dreams as they quickly become God in our lives. And it was an interesting thought because more often than not, we as humans, we, we, we are struggling to find our purpose in life. And, you know, God gives each one of us dreams and things that we want to accomplish. And, you know, it... Whether your dream is to walk in the rain or like it's raining now, I mean, it's like crazy rain right now, um, or whether it's to um, sing in uh, the national opera or to, you know, um, be like a friend of mine who's now playing drums for uh, an, a, a, a different variety of people all the time, including, you know, former well-known rock stars. Um, we all have dreams and uh, sometimes those dreams are even God-given, but we have to get to this point where we are willing to um, look at where those dreams are taking us and look at the trajectory of where those dreams are carrying us and realize that it's not good in our present state to pursue that dream more than we pursue God. Now, the, the, the hardship is, even if the thing is a God dream, God wants us to pursue Him more than we pursue the dream and to go after those things of Him that are better than uh, better than what we might think our dream would be on its own and it's tough I mean it's really tough because we go through life and we're, we're doing different things in our life to um, to reach our dreams and fulfill our dreams and and we have to be willing at a moment's notice to say look I'm placing this at a higher value than I'm placing on God I need to put this down so as you start thinking about those dreams that you have in your life, um, just remember that <laughs> the rain falls on the just and the unjust, the Bible says. And the Bible also says that unless a seed falls to the ground and dies, it will not bear fruit. You have to be willing to allow that thing to die. And uh, I have 33 years that I've lived on this earth, and, and I've had different dreams along my time, you know, to be a, a well-paid IT professional, to be... Um, to be a FBI agent, to be all these different things, and none of them worked out yet. Um, right now, I'm currently a father and a husband, and um, I was at one point a pastor for a short amount of time, and I didn't know if that was a dream that I wanted to keep pursuing or if that was what something that God put in my heart or not. But I set it down in hopes that if it really was a God dream, He would bring it back. So that's something I want to leave you with today. As I'm walking through this rain and getting soaking wet, and you've watched the complete de-evolution of my hair to soppingness, um, if you look at a dream and you know that it's God-given, but there is no open door for it, if there's no place for you to use that dream and to experience that dream, then you need to let it go and allow God to show you the next steps in your life. This has been another Saturday with Sam. As always, if you like what you see, subscribe and comment down below. Thanks. Bye.